Hello, I'm Ryan DePure with MBS, and I'm here to see if Bloomsburg students could pass the American citizenship test. All right, to prove you're a true American, I first need your name. Um, Olivia. I am Tamir, but everybody calls me Keys. Uh, Dustin. Nadia. Eric Miller. Uh, Kiki. Jaron. Nicole. Kirsten Dunn. First question, who is on the $10 bill? The $10 bill is... <laughs> You're putting me on the spot here. Um, is it Jackson? It is not Jackson. He is on the $20 bill. You still have more guesses. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, oh, guys, come on. The $10 bill. I'm going to go on with a guess with this one because I'm not a cash holder. I like to have everything on credit or debit. So I'm gonna go with Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson is on the $20 bill. The $10 bill? Isn't it? Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God, the first one. Um... Isn't it Jackson? It is not oh. Jackson. He is on the 20, oh. not on the five. Okay. Um, ben Franklin. Ben Franklin's on the 100. Dustin has seen a lot of these. God, I'm getting deported. <laughs> Franklin. Ben, I was gonna guess ben. ben Franklin is not on the $10 bill. He's on the $100 bill. Oh. Jackson's on the 20, Lincoln's on the 5, the 10 is, um, uh, I don't know, no answer, I don't they, know. He currently has a well-known musical. Wait, 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 I, I really don't $10 bill, Jackson! Jackson is on the $20 bill. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Alexander! Alexander Hamilton is on the $10 bill. That is correct. Oh, Andrew Hamilton. <laughs> I'm going to say partly correct. Andrew is not his first name. It is Alexander Hamilton. Oh. I'll give you this hint. This man has a musical about him. Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton is correct. I'll have you know someone said Andrew Hamilton earlier. And also on the $10 bill is Alexander Hamilton. Oh. I just watched Hamilton last night. I didn't know that. You have failed the musical. Washington's on the 1, Lincoln's on the 5, Jackson's on the 20, Franklin's on the 100. The 10 is Hamilton. First Treasury Secretary. It's true, it is. Name one war fought with the United States in the 1800s. Yeah, you lost me at the 1800s. Uh. <laughs> Cold War. The Cold War was in fact not fought in the 1800s. Uh, try the 1970s. Uh, World War One. <laughs> World War One was not fought in the 1800s. That's fought in the early 1900s. Um, I really hate you guys. Um, hate is a true American feeling. Um, Civil War. The Civil War is one of them. Can you guess the other three? Uh, World War One. World War One was not fought in the 1800s. Fought in the early 1900s. Okay. Uh, Revolutionary War. Revolutionary War was fought in the 1700s. The War of 1812. That is correct. It's in the name. Can you guess the other three? Um, it was War of 1812. God. What the heck? Um, you gonna give me a hint? I will give you this hint right here for one of the wars. You should know it. You'll feel embarrassed. What is February in honor of? It is... Oh, it's the Civil War. The Civil War. Can you name the other two wars? Think Southern. Um... Um, Black History Month? Yes. Now, what is a war we fought in the 1800s? Oh, the Civil War. Correct. The other wars were the War of 1812, the Spanish-American War, and the Mexican-American War. It wasn't the French and Indian was in... That was before. That was between England and the colonies. She did know that one. That's a bonus fact. Um, I don't know the other two. It's the Spanish-American War and the Mexican-American War. I thought they were the same war. They're not. What is one war? <laughs> So then it would have to be the Civil War. Then. It is the Civil War. The other wars were the War of 1812. I was terrible. It's, it's the Civil War. He said, I got to answer it because it's Black History Month. And I, I, was, I almost got it wrong. You almost got it wrong. It would have been tragic. Yes. The other ones are the War of 1812, the Mexican-American War, and the Spanish-American War. Well, one of the wars has the year in it. Can you guess that one? Some call it the, the Revolutionary War Part Two. 1801. 1812. Oh, isn't there something of 1812? 1801 is not a war, but 18 the War of 1812 is in fact a war. That is correct. Uh, the Mexican-American War and the Spanish-American War are the other two. 
During the Cold War, what was the main concern for the United States? Freezing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Um, going to war. Going to war is also an acceptable answer, but I'm looking for one of them. Think, think broader. Climate change. Climate change is an interesting guess, <laughs> however not correct. I don't think they knew what that was. Um, wasn't it nuclear? It, I would say nuclear war is one of them. We probably should change your answers. However, I'm looking for one more. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't know. I have an idea. You might as well just... They, it's associated with Russians. And the color red. Blood. Blood is an interesting one. <laughs> not correct, though. Uh, I believe it was the threat of mutually assured destruction from the Soviet Union. I would agree with this. However, I'm looking for another answer. It does have to do with the Soviets. The spread of communism? Absolutely. What was, I know there was, security was a huge deal between like... Security from? Russia. And, and the Russians are? The USSR. The USSR, RR. Think the color red. Well, the communist? Or the communist. communist. We hate communism. Uh, Think the color red. Oh, uh, Russians invaded. True, like Red Dawn, but the Russians are the Soviets, and the Soviets practice what? Oh, uh, 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 mm, ah, it's just on the tip of my tongue. Um, communism. Communism. Damn right, it's communism. It turns out Bloomsburg students know a lot about their country. Unfortunately for them, if they knew nothing about their country, that would make them the most American. Thank you.